Okay, I call our uh, special meeting to order February 8, 2008 at 9 a.m. Uh, call roll, please. Stevens? Here. Shran? Here. O'Neill? Mill? Here. Young? Here. Peterson? Here. Holt? Here. We have a quorum. I have a quorum, thank you. Okay, number one, consideration and possible action to enter into executive session to discuss status of negotiations with the IUPA. Local number three for Collective Bargaining Act for FY 2007-2008 as authorized by 25 OS 307-B2. Um, there is no need to go into executive session. Okay. And I have a statement to make on number two. When do you want to move on to that? Okay. Just go down the list here. Number two, consideration and possible action on, do we need a motion to not go yes. into executive session? Yes, we do. We've got to clear that item. Okay. Thank you. I make a motion not to go into executive session. Okay. Motion by Vice Mayor Peterson. Second. Second by Commissioner Young. Call roll, please. Peterson. Aye. Young. Aye. Holt. Aye. Stevens. Aye. Schramm. Aye. Mills. Aye. Motion carries. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Number two. Consideration of possible action on matters discussed in the executive session regarding the status of collecting Collective Bargaining Act for FY 2007-2008 between the City of Shawnee and the IUPA Local Number 3, including possible action to adopt a collective bargaining agreement with the IUPA Local Number 3 for fiscal year 2007-2008. We have been notified by the uh, union's attorney that the uh, union is not interested in the offer we made on Monday, and it is my understanding that the union membership never met on this. Is that correct, Chief? That's correct. Therefore, uh, there's no action to be taken. Okay. Since... Uh, the response was negative. Well, that's that's really disappointing and frustrating, especially for not only for us but for our citizens. Um, you know, the fact that that's going to cost us another nine or ten thousand dollars cost us cost the taxpayers another nine or ten thousand dollars, and uh, it it surely can't help the uh, uh, I don't know relationship between the uh, between the city and and the police uh, force, which uh, is important. But you know, it's it's really. It's, it's frustrating. I think we've gone above and beyond uh, what we should. It's time to start negotiating the next contract. Uh, here we haven't even finished this one. And, you know, this last, uh, this last effort to uh, try to come to terms uh, I thought was more than generous. And the fact that they uh, didn't even meet as a group to vote, uh, I'm not sure what that really means. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the way that democracy works. I wouldn't think that's the way that unions work. Uh, so I'm not really sure uh, is this you know a small group or one person, but uh, you know they'll do what they have to do I guess, and we'll do what we have to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I think that uh, once the citizens see that, uh, in my opinion, some of these are really silly uh, little deals, but uh, obviously they're big to somebody, and uh, they want to fight for it. So we're going to fight for what's right. We've been uh, elected to protect the. Uh, the citizens' uh, money, really, and, uh, and but still provide security for uh, the, them as well. So it's kind of a tough balance, but this is the right right thing for us to do. And uh, so Timmy and Carl, uh, looks like it's time to run. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I have a question just for record. Is it possible to give us, and let it be made known to the public, the timeline of when negotiations started and the representation that came to the table from the union. Uh, we can produce that. Kelly, could you get that to the them? beginning? Yeah. So Certainly. I, I, I don't know off the top of my head. It's been going on for some time. Because we feel like we've negotiated in good faith. And, yes, we and have. Actually, uh, from the very beginning, there hasn't been much negotiation from the union side. That's my understanding. So it's been either their attorney or one individual or maybe just a couple of individuals that uh, – and, and I guess maybe in a union, that's there is representation. Tom's been in a union; he probably knows there's there is representation there for the group. But usually, you think there's communication back to the group. I, I mean, I would think. Uh, Tom, you know, I mean, is that well, I would say uh, it's my belief in most uh, cases like this that the negotiations will still continue even past this morning's deadline. That's correct. And uh, I believe if if. Uh, an agreement is reached before April the 1st, it can, contract can still be settled, but the, other, the election will still go on. 
for commissioners. Correct. correct? And to answer um, Commissioner Young's question, we start uh, negotiations last year in February, and we've been negotiating ever since. Uh, a couple of the meetings, I believe, that the union attorney was the only one that was present, and then the <coughs> union's president came along with their attorney, and that was the only people that were at the table okay. from the union. So our, it's our entire negotiating team was at all the meetings. Okay. So it's not like they they met between now and last Monday night and then turned this um, latest offer down. Their attorney received um, our paperwork from Monday night and then um, probably notified the union, but they they refused to meet or they didn't meet or they just said they weren't interested. We, we don't have that specific uh, we don't have that specific information it is our understanding that the union membership did not meet okay. the only information we have officially is from their attorney that stated that the union was not interested in the city's offer uh, okay. I stand behind our proposal I think that the city's proposal was very generous and clearly in the uh, interest of the citizens as well as police right. officers I agree but at this point that's off the table too because that was only good until this morning uh, yes, that's a good point. Thank you. That, right. that is no longer on the table. But to answer Commissioner right. Schrand's uh, question or point, uh, yes, uh, it's still possible for You're negotiations. You're to bargain to in good faith, so to speak. Right. Uh, yes, this, the city will continue to bargain in good faith. Yes, sir. Okay. So listen, to make it very clear, the union representatives, not the union representatives, the union members did not get an opportunity to vote rather to accept the agreement or to turn it down. It was just the decision was made by the representative which message went to the attorney which came to you dr collard yeah we are, yeah i'm yeah. sorry we are not aware of any meeting that took place uh, on a part of the union membership i have not received any information that that did take place i have a question uh, before you even start talking about another contract or meeting another contract this one has got to be settled is that correct you go ahead. no no we've actually already received a letter from the union wanting to go ahead and start negotiations for the 2008 2009 really contract yes uh, if I could, if I could speak. there are statutory deadlines uh, that we have to meet uh, and papers that have to be filed on both sides okay. uh, beginning that process um, so we are uh, obligated uh, by the law to proceed along those lines. That's an excellent question, by the way. It's, uh, it would be a reasonable approach. Okay. Did you have any comment? You want so, so no action. No on action that? on two. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's correct. There's no action on two. Okay. So uh, really, that is there action on three and four? Okay. So Move to adjourn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Motion by Commissioner Schran. Second. Second by Commissioner Holt. Call roll, please. Schran. Aye. Caller. Aye. Stevens. Aye. Mills. Aye. Young. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. We are adjourned.